Isaiah 61 3 to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the word for beauty here is the same word for turban in Ezekiel 24 17 where Ezekiel is told to tell the people not to unbind the turban in mourning it was a custom of the day to take off one's head covering and throw ash over one's head in times of mourning Tamar did this in 2 Samuel 13:19, so did Mordecai in Esther 4:1, and also Job in Job 42:6. Through Isaiah, the Lord comforts His people by saying that He will give them a covering for their heads in times of grief. Other translations for this word are crown and garland. So another way the verse could be written is: He gives us a crown of life for ashes, the symbol of grief and death. An exchange is made for death for life, our sense of hopelessness for his abundant life. As well as the crown of life, he promises us the oil of joy. Oil was used for anointing priests, prophets and kings. So to be anointed was a sign of honour. In Psalm 23 5, David associates being anointed with joy. Psalm 23 5 you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Our cup is our life. God wants to strengthen our lives. In Nehemiah it says, Nehemiah 8.10 Then he said to them, Go eat the fat and drink the sweet, and send portions to him for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. And do not be sorry, for the joy of Jehovah is your strength. He freely gives us his strength and life so that we can be comforted in our time of need. In Matthew, Jesus says, Matthew 5, 4, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So will you receive his crown of life and his anointing of strength in times of your greatest need? For they are there for you. He understands your grief and he doesn't want it to destroy you. He has everything you need, just trust him, so your cup can once again run over, no matter where you find yourself.